Welcome back to the NASCAR Inside Line Let's Play. Ladies and gentlemen, right now I'm about to do race 18 of 36. Basically, about to hit halfway. Well, actually halfway now. And going into New Hampshire will be the second half of the Let's Play. I'm here at Daytona National Speedway here in Daytona Beach, Florida for the running of the Coke Zero 400. So last time I was at Daytona, I won the Daytona 500. Let's just say the AIs gave it to me because it was so easy. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's easy here. It seems like both the restrict play races so far in this re uh, in this let's play, the Daytona 500 and Talladega, I won both those races. So I wouldn't be surprised if I win this race today, uh, tonight. So anyway, champion difficulty, 16 laps, time wear, a few use times one, cautious of black flags on, and full damage on. Let's accept the changes. Let me do qualifying. And I guarantee you, I'm probably not going to do well in qualifying. I'm probably going to qualify last, honestly, because both restrict play races, I qualified poorly. So, let's see what happens here. So, here we go with the outlap. And here we go, starting my qualifying. Kurt Busch on the pole with a 46.20 so far. And I guarantee you he's going to keep that. So let's see how I do in qualifying. Probably not going to do well. Down the back straightaway. But maybe I can improve on the second lap, who knows. Hundred and eighty nine miles per hour down the back straightway into turn number three. Only went down to one eighty six. One eighty nine at the line. Yeah, I'm in last place. Forty seven fifty. Let's see if I can prove that on the second lap. Maybe get better starting position. So far, it's in the green. Like two tenths faster. Hundred and ninety miles per hour down the front straight, uh, back straight away. My bad. One hundred eighty-seven miles per hour through that corner. Here we go. Will I improve on my qualifying position? Looks like by three tenths, maybe. All right, didn't improve at all. I want to know. I want to see from 42nd to 43rd how close the times are, real quick. Watch they were by. Let me let me look at this. Oh, oh yeah, okay. By yeah, by four one hundreds. Sure, whatever. Whatever. So, this is going to be interesting. Going to have to try to win the race from the back, and I only have 16 laps to do it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're going to nighttime. Why can't it just automatically go to night? That's annoying. Oh, after this race, the next race is going to be at New Hampshire. That's going to be fun for me. Not. And then uh, Indianapolis, and then Pocono. Pocono, I was very surprised where I finished. I finished 10th. And who knows? Maybe I'll do good at New Hampshire for once. I'm just kidding. I probably won't. That was just a joke, right? Oh, my God. How long is... Mm. Oh, man. It was Charlotte, right? It's got to be Charlotte. No. I was in Talladega, was it? Man, listen. All right. Let's begin the race. 
All right, so it's gonna be 16 laps, full throttle. Here we are at Daytona International Speedway here in Daytona Beach, Florida, for some night racing under the lights for the Coke Zero 400. Cars lined up from the front of the pack. Fireworks going off. Fourth of July weekend, except it's uh, it's it's March, as I'm recording this. So yeah. Hey, celebrating early. Kurt Busch will start in the pole. Carl Edwards will start second. Tony Stewart will start third. And Greg Biffle will start fourth. So Sonoma winner Kurt Busch on the pole. And there's a uh, Coke Zero 400 uh, winning trophy if you win here at uh, this race tonight. So here we go. The pace car is off. Kurt Busch will lead the field down to the green flag. As I will start dead last, boy third. See if I can do it. Go from 43rd to 1st in 16 laps. Green flag in the air. We are underway here at Daytona National Speedway. Off turn number four, coming down to the start finish line. It looks like Kurt Busch is going to lead the first lap of the race. As Joe Nemechek cuts down right in front of me, I was I was trying to squeeze below him. I did get the spot. I didn't want to go beneath the yellow line, or else if you go below the yellow line to advance your position, that's out of bounds. You cannot go down there, or else you'll be black flagged by NASCAR. Looks like I set the fast slap on the first lap. Trying to make my way up through the field. I'm up to 30th right now. Oh, someone went in the outside wall up here. Looks like I'm moving up. This inside lane is moving up. Ooh. Had to get out of the gas a bit. Right now I'm just following McDowell. Looks like we got a three car lineup in the front. Alright. Austin Dillon going a little bit slower. It looks like I'm going to crack the top 20 right here. Getting such a run right now, I need to get out of the gas a bit. Right behind Regan Smith now. Looks like it's bunched up so far in the front pack, which is a good thing. So Kurt Busch leads all the first three laps. I've set the fastest lap so far with a 44.50. Now I'm going to get behind Sam Hornish. Oh, okay. They got out of... Oh. What is going on here? Three wide here. Looks like two, Kurt Busch and then I believe it's Tony Stewart that's trying to pull away. The outside lane's really stacking up right now. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Okay. And then the inside lane just did. I was unexpecting with that one. So we got 12 laps to go. It's like top five is trying to pull away right now. I don't need that to happen. I need to get up there with them. Looks like I'm about to crack the top ten. I'm telling you what, it doesn't take long to go from last to first. Oh, here comes Bobby Labonte and Regan Smith having a run. Decided to pull down in front of them. Oh, Johnson! Oh, I was just about to get out of the gas because I wasn't sure. Uh, I need to work with someone. I need to work with... Let me work with Hamlin. Let's see what we can do. Because we need... I need to get up there. Let's go, Hamlin. Let's get up there. Now, I want to be careful I don't cook my engine, though. Lose some power. Let's 
If Hamlin and I can get up there, it'll be a seven car pack. So far, so good. Looks like Johnson and Menard are working together right now. Could be a nine car pack, who knows. 10 laps to go here at Daytona National Speedway. Kurt Busch has led every lap so far. And I'm running in seventh behind Denny Hamlin, helping Denny Hamlin as well. Set the fast slap with a 44.50. Doesn't look like we're catching those cars up there at all, but we're pulling away from the cars behind. Come on, Kurt, uh, not Kurt, uh, Denny Hamlin, we gotta get going, man. I'm pushing Denny Hamlin in the corner. Sometimes I get a little worried about pushing in the corner. But we gotta go. Forty-three seconds. Forty-three ninety-seven. And it looks like we're catching up to him just a bit now. I believe that's either Joey Logano or Robbie Gordon in third. I believe that's Kyle Busch in fourth. I believe that's Tony Stewart in second with Kurt Busch. Oh yeah, we're definitely catching them now. I'm pushing Denny Hamlin all the way, even in the corners. Because these cars can hold it. Gen 6 cars cannot hold this the corner. Yeah, see, look at the fast lap I'm going to have right here. Alright, or Hamlin takes it. All right. Yeah, let's go down low, Hamlin. Good job. Yep. Oh, and that's Casey Kane up here as well. Now we're gonna unless Hamlin could go to the bottom. Yeah, it looks like. All right, now it looks like Hamlin's going to the bottom. Oh, but then these guys are gonna pull down. Come on, Hamlin, let's go. Never mind. Yeah, so it's a seven-car breakaway right now. All right, I didn't know Hamlin was going to go up high right there. Go! All right, I guess Hamlin and I are going to go up high. We'll work up high. Here comes Logano and uh, Kyle Busch, teammates. All right, looks like they're going to blow right by us. Oh, man, did I get a little bit sideways right there. So we got seven laps to go. Let's work this outside lane, Hamlin. Let's go. They're gonna pull up in front. Oh, oh Jesus. Man, it's getting tight. Here we go. Ten laps completed here at Daytona. Kurt Busch has led the first ten laps. Will he lead the final six, six laps? Danny Hamlin has the uh, fast slap right now with a 43-40. I'm not going to give up on Hamlin. We're going to make this outside lane work. We're going to try. Oh, if I don't get sideways right there. Oh, look at these two break up. Shoot. No, all right, Kyle. Let's go. That's my engine right now. I want to look at it. Nope, that's not it. 233? All right. Can't worry about that. Let's just go. Now, it looks like... So, we got all three Joe Gibbs cars up here. It looks like they're... <laughs> Let's say Hamlin and Logano is going to work together now. I might as well just work with Kyle Busch now. Five laps to go. Kurt Busch, the race leader, trying to get in the top five right here. It's a seven-car race for the win right now. Oh, man. Come on, Kyle. Let's get by these guys. Go up high if you have to, thank you. Looks like we're gonna get on the outside of Casey Kane at least, maybe? Yeah, we are! Holy crap, look how tight it's gonna get. Four to go! 
Bush brothers in the top five. One of them leading, and that's Kurt Bush. I'm gonna try to run this outside lane still. Oh, I, um, I got in the back of Kyle a little bit wrong. Oh, I hit the wall. Oh, and there goes my axle. The axle was busted there. Can't worry about that. Never mind. Can't worry about that right now. Just gotta go. Go up high, Kyle. You and I right now. Alright, looks like it's gonna be a four car breakaway right now. Oh, Tony! Oh, look at this! Might get here now. Keep. Come on, Kyle, let's go. Three laps to go. Yep, it's a four car breakaway now for the win. Looks like Tony Stewart and Kurt Busch are gonna stay together. smacked the wall pretty good oh and there goes my right front now can't worry about that gotta go oh here we go gonna make a move for the race lead here now let's make the move up high nice nice all right I'm up to the race lead they're gonna catch me cuz I'm gonna have no help two laps to go Boy, I was following Kyle Busch off turn number two. And then I guess he got close to the outside wall and I didn't... Uh, I misjudged where the wall was going to be. Oh no, Kyle. Let's go. Shoot. I got to get behind these guys. Oh, Kyle, don't lose me. No. All right, well. Shoot. Get interesting. Let's see if I can make the move for the race lead up high with no help. Looks like it's a three car race for the win. Kurt Busch, Tony Stewart, and I. Oh, I'm doing this without any help. Come on. It's not going to work. White flag is out. Final lap here at Daytona. Oh, don't lose me. Come on. Get their draft. Get their draft. Oh, no. I lost them, did I? I lost them. Oh, come on now. Dang it. I lost them. Kurt Busch and Tony Stewart pulling away. Down the best straight way for the final time. I'm not going to catch him, guys. Looks like third is all I'm going to get. Dang it, man. I should have just stuck behind him, honestly. I don't even know why I tried to make the move on the outside lane. All right, off turn number four. It looks like Kurt Busch... Looks like Tony Stewart's not going to make the move. Kurt Busch is going to get his second win of the season and his second win in the last three races after he won at Sonoma, and I'm going to finish third. Golly, I mean, they're a top ten finish, and this, this the last two out of three races, I finished third, so yeah. Dang it. You know, I was trying to make a move on the outside lane with no help. I honestly should have stayed behind Tony Stewart and Kurt Busch. But I thought, oh, I'm going to try this. I didn't think they were going to pull away from me that much. That was something. All right, so Kurt Busch is the race winner. He had Daytona National Speedway. Tony Stewart second. Jeff Gordon third, which is me. Case came fourth. Danny Hamlin fifth. And he set the fast lap of the race with a 43-40 on lap eight. Kyle Busch sixth. Jimmy Johnson seventh. Paul Menard eighth. Bobby Labonte ninth. And Riga Smith rounds up the top ten. Joey Logano eleventh. Matt Kenseth twelfth. Uh... Juan Pablo Montoya, 15th. Martin Truex Jr., 19th. And David Gillen rounds up the top 20. 21st is Scott Speed. 22nd, Danica Patrick. 24th, Jeff Burton. 25th, Dale Knight Jr. 26th, Kevin Harvick. 27th, Clint Boyer. 29th, Greg Biffle. And rounding up the top 30 is Josh Wise. 31st is Michael McDowell. 33rd is Carl Edwards. 35th is Mark Marin. And rounding up the top four is Robbie Gordon. 41st is Marcus Ambrose. 42nd, Brad Keselowski. And finishing 43rd in last place is Landon Castle. So let's uh, go check the point standings. Oh, I should have stayed behind Tony Schur and Kurt Busch. Should have. My mistake on that. Oh, well. Hey, yeah, I'll learn for, for Talladega if it gets down to that point as well. So whatever. Third place finish is good, too. Whatever, you know. So. It is what it is. And now we're going to New Hampshire, which that's going to be fun for me.
gonna hate that track. However, you know, even though I didn't get the win tonight, I did get up to the points lead, six points ahead of Matt Kenseth. Kyle Busch third in points, uh, nine points back. Tony Sherp fourth in points, ten points back. And rounding up the top five in points is Denny Hamlin. He is uh, 28 points back. And let's see, rounding up the top 10 in points is Juan Pablo Montoya. He is uh, 76 points back. And Kurt Busch, who got his second win of the season, actually his second win in the last three races. He's moved up to 12 in points, and he's in the wild card spot as well. And he's right now uh, 113 points back. And here's the rest of the point standings looking right now. Uh, I believe right now it's going to be Kurt Busch and uh, Greg Biffle for the wild card spot. So, all right. I mean, Kevin Harvick is there as well. So we'll see what happens. We got plenty of races left. We got uh, eight more races before the chase. So, next race is going to be at Loudon, New Hampshire, New Hampshire National Speedway. That's going to be fun. Not going to like that track for the running of the Lennox Industrial Tools 301. I will see you at New Hampshire.